so good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, joining me this morning, our City Council President, uh, Sean Elo Rivera, City Council Member Stephen Whitburn, who represents the community we're in today, uh, in Council District 3. Uh, also with us today, uh, our Hafsa uh, Keika, who is the Director of our City's Homelessness Strategies and Solutions Department, as well as James Carter, uh, and maybe some other members of her team will be along uh, shortly. Uh, we're here today to announce uh, the latest step forward in our comprehensive strategy to address homelessness in San Diego. Yesterday, Hafsa and her team briefed the City Council on the considerable progress that her department has made since I created it through our 2021 City Budget. She shared that the City would be making investments in non-congregate shelter. Uh, that means shelter uh, with private rooms uh, for individuals. Uh, today, we are announcing that the City has taken possession of this hotel uh, and transforming it into a non-congregate shelter for seniors experiencing homelessness. There are 34 rooms at this site, and at least 32 of them will provide temporary home to vulnerable seniors in our community. We're going to clean up this place, we're going to furnish the rooms, and we expect to take clients in in just a couple of um, a month or two. Now, as long as there are people living on the streets, we will not stop when it comes to expanding our and executing our strategy on homelessness. We have made considerable strides in the last couple of years. And we've made a special, uh, uh, let me say that again, we have made a considerable uh, amount of strides in the past couple of years, and we've made a considerable amount in the last few days and weeks. On September 7th, we announced funding recommendations for round two of Bridge to Home, our program to provide gap financing to affordable housing builders. Rounds one and two will create 900 new homes, 232 of which will be set aside for people experiencing homelessness. Uh, last Monday, Many of you were with me when we jo uh, joined with the county to open the new 150-bed Rosecrans shelter in the Midway community with immediate access to behavioral health care. Already 76 homeless individuals have been taken into that shelter. The very next day, we announced the expansion of the, one of the city's more successful programs, Safe Parking. Uh, previously time limited, it is now available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making this program more accessible to more people who are living in their vehicles and wanting to get into housing. Many of you recently covered our efforts to transform the old central library that is owned by the taxpayers of this city, has been unutilized for many, many years, and will soon have a new life as a shelter during inclement weather. We hope that we will open it later this year. But I want to acknowledge the fact that shelter is merely a stop along the path towards permanent housing. And last week, the City Council approved my recommendation to choose a team to revitalize the sports arena and build thousands of new homes, a majority of which will be affordable to low and middle income San Diego families. I also created the Civic Center Revitalization Committee to help guide our efforts to redevelop our Civic Center core, which will also bring about the opportunity to build thousands of new affordable homes. These landmark projects, combined with my Homes for All of Us initiative, will make sure that we're creating housing that everyday San Diegans can actually afford. <clears throat> also last week, I joined Governor Gavin Newsom as he made, signed Care Court into law for California. This will allow us to provide more housing and treatment to folks who struggle with severe mental illness and desperately need intervention. Many of those individuals, unfortunately, call the street the home. Um, soon, because of Care Court, I believe that will change. Outreach, shelter, housing, health care. This is how we end homelessness one person at a time. And we can't solve this crisis with one outreach event, one shelter opening, or one housing project. It requires a sustained effort, layers upon layers of programs, facilities, and policy reforms. Today's announcement is a part of that, just one part. It builds on the successes that I just mentioned that literally happened over the last seven to 10 days. We've got more on deck. I look forward to keeping you posted about the progress that we make, but I will not rest until we get the situation under control and that we, met, we match the expectations of San Diegans, many of whom are extremely frustrated, as am I. But we can get this done, and it gets done by doing more things like converting this hotel uh, into housing for our seniors who are homeless. 